afternoon, YouTube. It's Thunder Dan back at it again. What is up, guys? Pretty much the last warm day in the month here uh, and for the year in Delaware. Uh, just a little bit above 60 degrees. I can, as you can tell, it's hoodie weather right now. It is fall. You can see the foliage changing colors right here. I am going to go ahead and try to come out to this hidden pond, which nobody would know of. You drive past it every single day when you come through this development, but you had to climb through trees in order to know that it was there. So I'm doing that. I'm here. And uh, we are going to fish. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try a whopper plopper that I've never tried before. This is called the powder. It's a 110. I'm going to see if the top water bite is still going on. If that's not going to happen, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a Havoc series bait. Uh, it is a green pumpkin. I think it's a skeet reese design, uh, four inch. And uh, we'll toss it out there. This episode has really no meaning to it other than the fact that I'm trying out the new GoPro 7, guys. So we're going to change it up from the six that I have inside of that housing. And, uh, I'm going to see how interesting, uh, to see how cleaner my videos will be, and um, let's get it on. All right, guys, as promised, we've got the GoPro Hero Black 7 right here. Uh, again, hyper smooth stabilization. That's what I've been looking for uh, with regards to this camera to see how it works out with uh, all the action that I have in my video. I'm sure it'll work well with others who are in the sports uh, or heavy activity or requires a lot of action in the body or whatever they're performing. Uh, mainly fishing right here. The one thing I'm going to worry about is walking through rocks, walking through terrain. Uh, again, casting it and as well striking the fish. So give me a couple seconds here. We're gonna to try to put this thing to its uh, paces and uh, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the new and out with the old. All right, GoPro Hero Black 6, thank you for your service. I appreciate you in all of my fishing adventures here on Fishing with Thunder Dan. Uh, you will not be retired, but you will help me out in other angles uh, throughout my episodes. So we'll try to figure out what we can do with you. But without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and uh, give Mr. Hero uh, GoPro Hero Black 7 uh, its debut and premier chance to go ahead and try to say hey I am more dominant than the 6 bear with me guys and uh, let's get this fishing action on uh, this camera's bouncing around pretty good as I'm walking towards the entrance of this uh, pond right here but it, as I promised like I said we got the plastic on and we got the uh, whopper plopper on so I have to get past these two trees right here in order to get in some open space and uh just gotta test this water out here <laughs> makes me nervous every time i come out here but it's very shallow right here seems like I, we got an atv that's been riding around here hopefully never really bothers us but uh let's get that uh whopper plopper excuse me whopper plopper disconnected and we're gonna toss it out there and we're gonna see what's happening it's gonna throw right out in the middle of the pond guys and see if anything decides it wants to bite on that uh, bait there. Again, I don't know if the fish are still wanting the top water or not, but we're gonna try it. And the positioning here is like ridiculous. I got, I'm literally backed up to a tree right here. I got all this crap over here. I got all this right here. But we're going to try to make this happen. I apologize for the sun being in your face right now, guys. Unfortunately, that's the direction it's coming from. And right off the bat, man, this pond's putting up a stench. Oof. But as we're going along here, guys, like I said, I'm just going to give you the the ins and outs, what I like about this uh, GoPro, what I don't like about it. But um, like I said, I'm more than certain I'm going to like the hyper smooth stabilization. It's just, uh, you know, the other little quirks that you have to deal with. But uh, let's see if uh, Mr. Whopper Plopper can give us our first fish here. Now, if we try come to this pond right here and nothing really is happening, I actually have a pond that's, again, about a mile away from my son's school that's right directly behind his school. We're going to go over there. I know there's fish over there, but I just wanted to try this pond out right here to see if there's any type of action right here. Oh, we still got dragonflies flying around in October. How about that? 
All right, let's see if we can drop uh, this plastic right in front of their noses on the underwater and see if we can get some action here. Okay, we're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth. Figure out what the pattern is. All right, guys, so we got the uh, Havoc Series uh, Skeet Reese uh, design uh, plastic. Looks just like almost like the uh, the uh, hematoma and as well the uh, kinky beaver. But we're gonna throw that out there and uh, see if anything's laying below the surface there, guys. I'm just baiting in some decent places. Oh, here we go. We got a bite going on right here, guys. Fish is right here, guys. Fish is on. Got it. Nice. A little dink. All right. We're on the board, guys. <laughs> How did that fish strike look, guys? Was it smooth? Sitting right there by the tree, guys, going right after the green pumpkin. Maybe about a pound, guys, but fish nonetheless. We are on the board. Thank you, Bass. And uh, she gone. All right, guys, we got our uh, inaugural Bass on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Congratulations, Mr. Camera. All right, guys, this is the boring part. I'm gonna walk around and uh, you know, I want your opinion. Uh, let me know how smooth the video is as I'm walking. Because normally if you have the six on back, you can see the frame jumping up and down, but apparently this, uh, stabilization makes it much much smoother and you're not getting a headache from watching that video bounce all around so we're gonna walk around here and try to find that gap and uh try to get another fish on all right guys having a tough time finding some open areas i think uh we're gonna have to try to weasel our way right through here trying to find the thinnest of branches that i can push away and get through because there's not really any gaps at all uh to get through this uh foliage but uh, give me a couple seconds, let's walk through here. And again, there's hydrilla still here. So we're gonna have to cast over it. Again, still sticking with uh, the Havoc series. Just gotta be careful of uh, how deep we're getting right here. And uh, not much space to work with, guys. But you can see we're complete opposite of where we were just at. And we're gonna cast over here and just come across this uh, hydrilla patch over here. Again, I gotta worry about a tree that's sitting here as I'm trying to do my uh, uh, cast here. So it's gonna suck for a little bit here. But let's see if we can uh, wrangle out of this section here. It's nice and quiet back here, guys. Oh, is that a hit right there, guys? There's a hit right there. That was a little one nipping on it, but it was a hit right underneath this algae. So I'm just gonna try to see if anything's sitting right here, guys. I don't care how big or small it is. Oh, look, there's a fish right here. Literally right on there, right in front of us. Did you see that? Oh, no. <laughs> Literally right on the edge of the hydrilla. I had that fish, guys. The hook was setting everything. <laughs> Again, I can't go back on it because I got a tree right above me, man. But there was a fish right there. You saw it. Hugging tight on them hydrillas. All right, guys. So, again, it's a nice, beautiful day. You can see all of the nice colors that are starting to come out. And uh, burgundies, yellows, oranges, and... Uh, I was going to have a, uh, 
overcast day because uh, that's the reason why I came out because I looked outside and saw the overcast. I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm going to go out and fish because this might be a good day. But the sun decided to come out, burn off some of it. But it's still not too bad because it's not, you know, um, a jaybird blue sky. Uh, you got a lot of clouds still covering things up, so it's still keeping uh, the light down and everything else and making it hard for the fish to see you. And uh, we are going to go ahead and fish for a couple more minutes. I'm just going to try to find a couple more openings over here. If we don't have anything, guys, uh, as I said at the early onset of this video, that we're going to go to that pond that's right down the street by my son's school. And uh, we'll have a little bit more activity with fish over there, I'm assured. Uh, uh, to that fact because I've been there a couple times. It's been a long time since I've been there, but I know there's activity there. So again, I don't want to make this a boring video with no vid fishing included. But again, like I said, hopefully you guys are liking the footage so far and the, uh, the ability of this camera with its uh, stabilization. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and head up the street and we're going to go to my son's school. And uh, we're going to go to that pond over there since I really wasn't having any luck at the pond that I was just at and I really didn't want to sit there and fight through all these trees and everything else like that because I don't have a lot of time and of course I want to spend time with my son that's sitting at home but he doesn't really care because he's playing video games but nonetheless still got to do the daddy duties all right guys I'm not going to bore you with all the footage but nothing happened here but I will show you this clip after I'm done talking right here of the major lunker that I hit on the back side right there where the sun's starting to shine over there on the edge of the uh cattails over there so take a look there's a fish right here guys come on is he gonna move with it there we go <laughs> look at this guys a little dink all that <laughs> that's what we've been fighting the whole time guys this little stupid dink <laughs> But it is a fish nonetheless. Uh, you can see why I was having difficulty hooking into it, man. But it's going to be a good-looking bass. I mean, look at the, the lateral line on it, man. Pretty colors. But uh, you go big, buddy. But uh, we're going to head over to the other pond, uh, guys, that I want to go to. Obviously, it will produce fish bigger than uh, this uh, lunker that I'm holding right here. But she's gone. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and make my way down the road. So I'm going to jump my vehicle and give me a chance to go ahead and uh, get down to that next pond. Alright guys, I'm trying to fish in that pond right here, but there's a dude with a dog over here that I'm trying to uh, wait for him to walk away. So there's no suspicion as to what I'm trying to do right here. And you know what that is guys, and that's the fish. Because there's a, clearly a sign that's right over here that says it's catch and release, but it's for residents only. So. You know how that goes, but looks like he's gone. We're going to jump out of the car, and uh, let's try to get a couple fish on, man. Try to make something of this episode. We were on three ponds today, and it's been sucking, so maybe the third one is the charm. All right, here we go, guys. Let's make it happen. Oh, we got to make it quick, but I'm going to grab my rod, and we're going to start casting right off the bat. We're only going to carry one rod, so it doesn't look so uh, obvious that what I'm, what I'm doing. But uh, we got plastic on. That's all I'm going to use. A lot of, a lot of algae right now, guys. But I want to go over to where that point is at. Because that's where I think the fish will be. Looks pretty shallow over here, but all the lily pads are dead now. So they've got nothing to hide under. So I don't know whether they're deep or, uh, or over here in the shallows. But we're going to soon find out. Already getting a lot of junk on the on and ready guys. Oh no something pulled on it guys. <laughs> that was surprising. I didn't even feel that one. But uh let's get it rehooked back up again. Toss it back out there again. I'm just pretending that I'm I'm not paying attention to what's going on around me guys because uh, I know that maintenance guy might pop up on me on this particular pond. Because some of these people like to rat you out. <laughs> oh, there's a hit right there already, guys. There we go. Got one right on. Nice, decent one, guys. Nice, decent one. Here you go. One, two pounds, maybe. All right. <laughs> After all these ponds we go to, guys, we finally get a nice strike. There we go, guys. I knew we were going to get something off of this pond. 
Again, pound and a half, guys. But that didn't take long. <laughs> Two casts or so, guys. But here we go. Pretty, pretty. Let's get it out there. And uh, she gone. Again, we got still a little bit of pad action right here, guys. But uh, over in this corner is where that big one I caught was at. A lot of big ones hang right in that little uh, cove over here. But I'm sure we'll get a bass or two right here. Right near that point of where the algae's at there. You can see where the vibration is of the uh, line. It's to the right of that. You can see something sitting right there. There we go. There we go. Oh my God. Totally broke off, guys. Totally broke off. That was a monster, too. God dang, that was a big old bite, guys. Same thing, ripped the bait right off of the uh, hook here. But uh, we're gonna get that bait out there. Like I said, a new one's gonna be sitting right on that point right there. That's why I threw it there. So let's see if that fish will get greedy and go after the second one. As Oakster says, man, cast right back where he came from. But it was right in all that muck, man. That's probably half the reason why I didn't get a good strike on it. There we go, there we go. There we go, we got him. We got him. There we got him. <laughs> I knew he was over there. <laughs> uh, look at this, a ton of junk. That's the one that was hitting it, guys. Man, that fish was greedy. He wanted to both of them. But Oki's theory works every single time, practically. If you miss, go back and try again. But she's gone. This is makes your heart pump, man, is when you think you got a big one and you got like five pounds of garbage all over your line, guys. So give me a couple of seconds to shred this off. And uh, we're going to walk over to that corner, guys, where I know there's some decent sized one because there's I'm looking over here and there's some cracks where these fish would sit and lay in as an ambush point. But uh, this stuff is nasty. All right, so far we're lucky, guys. The guy that's sitting on the end of the uh, uh, the pier there, he's just sitting there, you know, doing his little smoking of a cigar or cigarette, whatever it is, just watching me out. He's curious. But uh, we'll make our way over here. This is where I'm curious to see where there's some decent sized bass. Could you see the gaps right there, guys? That's what I'm looking at right now. I'm trying to be quiet, but this is where I caught, whoa. This is where I caught that six pounder, guys. All right, so we're gonna, like I said, hit this gap right here and hit that gap and again, work along this edge here. And again, my interest is right over here where those points are where I think a bass is gonna be sitting at. But uh, we are truly testing this stabilization here, guys. I've been falling into every hole. And I told you on the video before that I do fall. <laughs> so. Thankfully, here we go, here we go. There's up. Oh, that was another one, guys. It's a little dink, though. So I'm trying out in the deep right now, guys. That's where I caught my six pounder, was way out there. So maybe something might be lurking out there or maybe something might follow in, I don't know. Oh, here's one right here, guys. Something's tugging on it. There you go. Little one. <laughs> All right, guys. They're just tugging on it, tugging on it, and then they're deciding whether they want to commit or not, man. But I got to be patient. But uh, less than a pound. And she's gone. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, Go around the corner here and again fish along that uh, parallel of the backside of this pond. Just gotta be careful. I mean, there's a lot of mush here, guys. But uh, I'm gonna try to cast right here because I really think there's something over here, guys.
There's one right here, guys. Here we go. Fish on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew there was something there, guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and make our way over the corner. We'll finalize our video here. All right. So, again, I'm just throwing. Look, here we go. Right here, guys. I wasn't even looking, man. A fish was hitting me as I'm trying to talk because I wanted to turn around and show you the beautiful sunset here. <laughs> Because I noticed my bait was going off to the right hand side. <laughs> totally, totally screwed that up, guys. My goodness gracious. All right, let me toss over here real quick. That sucked. <laughs> it was a decent size too, guys. Maybe a pound. I don't know. But he was sitting right up under all that junk over there. Looks like we got another one right here, guys. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, dang it. All right, so the fish are sitting here right where the sun is shining, guys. All right, we're gonna go right where these rocks are at and we're gonna cast right along this edge. We got one right here, guys. Looks like it, feels like it. There we go, fish on. Nice way to end it out, guys. Nice way to end out, and it's a decent sized one too, guys. All right, all right. <laughs> I knew there was one sitting over there. About a pound and a half, guys. I'm glad this episode turned out to be productive. Again, no giants, but it was fun just trying to find these bass, guys. Like I said, they're starting to slow down, and uh, it's got our pliers out, but you just gotta search and find them, man. Nice and slow retrieves, guys. There's just little bounces, man, because they weren't going after anything. And uh, this one's a little bit of a chunk. I can feel he's got some uh, bait fish up in him. But uh, guys, let me run to my car. And let's go ahead and finish it out. And hopefully you enjoyed the fishing episode today. She's gone. Tough, tough day to fishing, guys. I had to go to three ponds to finally find some action. I had to come over to the uh, retirement home over here that I normally come to. Uh, nobody said anything to me. Uh, the guy who was on the dock, he was asking me how I was doing. I um, you know, told him, and uh, he was more interested in what I was doing fishing-wise. But again, like I said, the emphasis was not on the fish today. Again, it was on the GoPros. So my GoPro 6, which was my go-to on my chesty, I like this GoPro because the battery life was great on this camera. Unfortunately, on the 7, right here, it's cut down a little bit, guys. So you have to have a couple batteries extra with you, man, because it's gonna burn through the battery. So hopefully they correct that and they got some batteries with some decent life on them. But again, I got four of them, so I'm not gonna really worry about that. The one thing that kind of bugged me a little bit here is when you've got the GoPro and you go to say, GoPro, start recording. That's the GoPro 7 right there, guys, not the 6. But it'll film. And on this one, the GoPro 6, once you go to tell it to stop recording, it will stop recording immediately. The beep comes right after it. But if you listen to the seven, which is right here, if I say GoPro, stop recording, you hear that long, huge lag. I don't know what the deal is with that right now. Maybe it's just probably why it's taking so long to probably format onto the card. I don't know, but it kind of, you know, irks me out a little bit because I want to try to go, keep going and going and going with my filming. But here you just got to wait that lag out before you try to get that next clip in. So. That's the drawback on that one right there. Again, the battery is a little bit shorter in the life on the GoPro 7, but again, the main thing is the hyper smooth stabilization, guys. Hopefully you saw that through this episode uh, once it's already posted up there. Uh, but again, uh, I'll try to get a little bit more in depth about uh, when I go to uh, edit the videos and everything else, or what my thoughts are with uh, processing these videos and uploading them into YouTube. But I, I'm gonna like this camera, guys. I already know it right off the back. I haven't even looked at the footage but I probably would have looked at the footage because I would have posted this video up here, which is a stupid comment to make, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be dramatically different uh, with respect to, again, the bouncing around with the videos and everything when it goes to the fish striker, walking around, uh, or casting. So hopefully you like this episode, guys. I'm sorry I bored you, but again, I just wanted to get my first opinions on the GoPros. As always, guys, like, subscribe, push that notification bell, and uh, fish on.
feel like it was my ego Maybe it's my decisions Anyways, here we go Know you full of resentment Thought I was a hero Started to second guess it Guess I get the message It's a cold world Cold said it best And my grandma said If it's dead, let it rest Never let them see the pain Pouring out your chest Never let them dirt your name Don't forget you're blessed and never ever be ashamed everybody's stressed lately i've been thinking i could take one to the chest every day